The recording type depends on the media and file formats supported by your device. You don't need special skills to find out what media your device supports. Anyone can tell a CD drive from a USB port or an SD card slot. So, to record files to a USB drive or SD memory card, connect them to your computer. Open them in My Computer or this PC folder, depending on the version of Windows which you are using. Find the link to the video about opening this PC in Windows 8 or 10 in the description. And copy files from the computer to the USB drive or memory card, just like you do with any other folders. It is better to have music file names in Latin letters. Car audios often have problems with other types of letters. The only thing to remember when recording music to a USB drive or memory card is the media size and file system format. For example, some car audios cannot work with removable media larger than 4 or 8 GB. Another important aspect is the format or file system of your media. The most suitable format for a car audio will be FAT32. To check it, connect the device to the computer and right-click on it. Select Properties and find the format in the line File System. To change it, just format the USB drive in FAT32. You can watch another video in our channel to see how to do it and also learn to solve the problem when a USB drive doesn't work with the car audio, TV, set-top box, camera or dashboard camera. I will give the link in the description. To record music to a CD or DVD, put it into your computer's optical drive. Remember that to be able to record file, uh, files to a disk, your optical drive should be a recording one. It will have symbols like Compact Disk Rewritable or DVD Multi Recorder or DVD RW, while an ordinary drive will have symbols like Compact Disk, Compact Disk Digital Audio or DVD ROM. Open this PC and click on the optical drive, which starts the Windows Integrated Disk Burning Wizard. Select the option with a CD DVD player. Click Next. The disk will open as a common folder. Drag files from your computer there, just as you do with any folders. After that, select Drive Tools and click Finish Burning. In the window that opens, you can change disk name and recording speed. Click Next. In the next window, uh, decide on the recording format – Data CD, DVD or Audio CD. If your car audio or another device can work with music in MP3 format, you can use Data CD, DVD option. If your device doesn't support MP3 or any other music format and is only limited to working with Audio CD, then go for Audio CD option. Such option will only work with the CD. I will tell more about it a little later. I select Data CD DVD. After that, the burning process starts. Wait until it is over. Ready? The disk is now recorded and ready to play. I'd like to go back to musical disk formats. The method of recording I have just described is good for audio players that support playing MP3 files from CDs or DVDs. However, there are devices that support playing music in audio formats only. Depending on the type of media – CD or DVD – such music format is known as Audio CD or DVD Audio. The best way to learn the audio format supported by your device is to read the manual. Quite often it is absent. To improve the situation, manufacturers place special globally recognized symbols on their devices to show what audio and video formats they support. So have a closer look at your car audio now. If it supports MP3, it has such a symbol. For CDs, for DVDs, for audio CDs, for DVD audio, and for DVD video. An audio CD can be created with the Windows integrated feature just as you have seen before, but selecting Audio CD option. As a result, uh, the disk recorded in the audio CD format will look like this. 
file names have been changed and their file extensions are now CDA. You can record up to 80 minutes of sound to an audio CD, but with a much higher uncompressed quality than MP3. That is why it makes sense to write music to audio CD from uncompressed formats such as FLAC or WAV. Though you can use MP3 as well. By the way, you cannot just copy the files from such an audio CD to your computer and play them without having to insert the disk. They only contain information about the tracks, but they don't have any data. What to do if you want to copy music from an audio CD to a computer or USB drive? You can do it with third-party applications, for example, Ashampoo Burning Studio Free. Find the link to its homepage in the description. Now let's begin. Insert an audio disk into the computer and start Ashampoo Burning Studio Free. Select Music – Rip Audio CD. The program will check the audio disk. In the next window, select the tracks which you need to convert. You can select all of them or only some. If the names of tracks are not shown just as in my case, you can play tracks by clicking a corresponding button to choose the one you need. Next. In the next window, specify the folder where to save files, their format and setup codecs. Change bitrate for the files to be converted. After clicking the button to start converting, the process starts and files will be converted to the folder you have chosen. Now you can listen to them on your PC or send them to a USB drive. However, you cannot record a DVD audio with Windows integrated tools. You will need third-party applications to do that. There are not too many of them, and they mostly have to be bought. Nevertheless, there is a program called Audio DVD Creator, which you can run in a trial mode for 30 days. Find the link to download it in the description. There are also similar programs, and you can search the Internet to learn more. So, to create a DVD audio disk, start Audio DVD Creator and select New Project. Create Audio DVD. In the next window, give it a name and set the sound format. I will stick to default options. Pay special attention to TV options. There are two of them – NTSC – USA, Canada, Japan and PAL – Europe – others. There are three main color encoding systems – PAL – for Europe, SECAM – for former Soviet Union republics, NTSC – for USA, Japan, etc. So the DVD players in some cars can work only with discs re recorded in NTSC. As a rule, these are American and Japanese cars. For European cars, the proper type is PAL. If you record a DVD in a wrong format, it will not work. Yet it concerns only DVD audio and DVD video discs. Don't forget about it. Next. In the next window, add files to burn to audio DVD. You can both add an available audio CD or just music files from your computer's hard disk. Select the folder and files or add the entire folder. OK. Next. Next. Select to save music to a disk or hard disk and click to start. As a result, the disk recorded in the audio DVD format will look like this. If you want to convert music from audio DVD to a computer or USB drive into MP3, you can also do it using third-party software, for example, Movavi Converter, which I have already mentioned in one of the previous videos on how to play FLEC, AVI, MKV, XVID, WMV, 3GP, FLV files on iPhone, iPad or iOS. Find the link to the video and the program's homepage in the description. So let's begin. Insert an audio DVD into the disk drive and start Movavi Converter. Select Add Media, Add DVD and specify the path. The main window will show you the list of tracks. 
Now go to Audio tab and select the format to which you want to convert the audio DVD. Specify the folder to save tracks. And click Convert. After that, the process starts and the audio DVD will be converted to the folder you have chosen. I would like to say a couple of words about playing music on a car audio, sound system or other devices when you use a smartphone or another mobile gadget. There are several ways to listen to music from a smartphone using a car audio or other players. In all of them, the sound system or car audio act just as an amplifier. Just connect them to your smartphone, where the tracks are stored. Depending on the design and model of the car audio, you can use one of the ways of connecting your smartphone or tablet PC via auxiliary. For connecting a phone via auxiliary connectors, you don't need any special settings in the car audio or other players. All you have to do is to connect both devices with an auxiliary or audio cable. Insert the cable in the headphones jack of your phone and in the auxiliary connector of the car audio usually found on its front panel. Via USB in the same way, connect the phone to the car audio with a USB cable. The only difference is in the type of connectors used. In this case, they are USB ports. However, some car audios cannot support such connection. Via Bluetooth Connecting a smartphone to a car audio via Bluetooth is more complicated than a cable connection. In order to set up a wireless network, turn on Bluetooth on both devices and then search for network on your smartphone. After your car audio appears in the list of detected equipment, connect the devices. No matter how experienced you are, it is better to have a look into your car audio's user manual. It should help you to set up Bluetooth connection, if your car audio supports this function, of course.